the site of the pro project is in Faxinda of Sankhwaseva district, and the project is being developed by Satla's Arunthri. Building on the outcome of our last meeting in New Delhi, we agreed to take effective measures for the implementation of all agreements and understandings reached in the past. We also agreed to take concrete measures to realize the benefits of new partnership for agriculture and connectivity by rail links and inland waterways. We have agreed to address all matters by September 19 on our Constitution Day or the National Day to this effect to foreign secretaries will work. We agreed that the agriculture ministers of our two countries will meet soon to concretize priority areas and develop a work plan for implementation, including in agricultural research and development, education, training, and scholarship, and collaboration between our relevant institutions. We will expeditiously work for launching pilot projects on organic farming and soil health monitoring. We both underlined that an early finalization of the DPR of the Fanchesur multipurpose project is essential to gain mutual benefit in the areas of energy, irrigation, and flood control. The team of experts, officials, will meet soon for this purpose. Just a while ago, Modiji and I jointly laid the foundation stone of 900 megawatt or in third hydropower project here. We hope that the operationalization of the project would help enhance cooperation in the generation and trade of power between the two countries. In this context, our attention needs to be focused on the full implementation of the power trade agreement signed between the two countries. I appreciate India's initiatives to revise the guidelines or regulations on cross-border trade of electricity in consultation with stakeholders. Our two sides will continue to engage in studying the matters concerning the energy banking mode of electricity transaction. Our agencies will expeditiously study and suggest modalities for the new Butwal Gorakhpur, new 400 kV transmission line, and Nepali portion of which would be implemented by the government of Nepal for, uh, from its own resources. Each year, a large part of Nepal's Tarai region faces the problem of inundation. In view of the impending monsoon season and considering the past agreement between our two sides, both our sides will immediately send a joint team to the inundation prone areas to take appropriate measures to address this problem. Trade and transit vital components of Nepal-India bilateral relations, and both of us understood their importance. India is our largest trading partner. However, the growing trade deficit of Nepal with India has been a matter of serious concern for us. Modiji and I took note of the outcome of the Commerce Secretary level meeting held last month in Kathmandu to jointly initiate a comprehensive review 
of the existing freight, transit, and rail services treaties agreements. I believe that India has both the capacity and willingness to address our genuine concern. I requested Modiji to facilitate the exchange of demonetized currency notes held in the Nepali banking system and by general public at the earliest. We agreed that the two transit facilitations related draft letters of exchange, one on bulk cargo and the other on rail services agreement, amendment would be finalized soon. Considering the role of connectivity as a key enabler for development, we discussed the ways to enhance connectivity for our mutual benefit. We expressed satisfaction on the operationalization of the ICP in Birgans and agreed to expedite progress on three other ICPs. The completion of the Gulaki Road projects would receive added focus. For the new electrified rail line to be built with the financial support of India, our respective agencies will carry out preparatory survey work at the earliest and finalize the implementation and funding modalities. In order to develop inland waterways, for the moment of cargo, we shared the views that early start of the work is required. India will send its expert team soon for further study uh, to implement the project. I am fascinated by Modi's vision of HIT, highways, information ways, and transmission ways. Two more dimensions to this would be pertinent, waterways and airways. As also discussed during my recent visit to India, I am expecting positive decision from India soon on our request for providing four additional air introduced to ease air traffic is also on the card to prepare a detailed report regarding connectivity of the four-lane motorable bridge over Mahakali River in Kanchanpur for its connectivity with National Highway 9 in India. I take this opportunity to express thanks to you, Excellency Modiji, personally, and the government of India for the support extended to us in the aftermath of the devastating earthquake of April 2015. Nepali agencies are actively involved in the implementation of the reconstruction projects with the support of India, both under grant and loan. Earlier today, Modiji and I jointly launched the Nepal-India Ramayana circuit in the premises of the Janaki temple in Janakpur. This will connect Janakpur, the birthplace of Sita, the Ayodhya, and other sites associated with the epic Ramayana. We also jointly flagged, flagged off the first bus services from Janakpur for Ayodhya. I am delighted to mention that Modiji is also visiting Muktinath. Both of us agreed that this visit of Prime Minister Modiji has further strengthened the age-old friendly relations between our two countries 
and has generated a fresh impetus to our bilateral cooperation and partnership. We attach high importance to our relations with India and look forward to continue, continued cooperation in the coming days for the mutual benefit of the two countries and peoples. In this respect, I look forward to working closely with Modiji in the days ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you.